Hey guys, this is Chris at the Little Rock Urban Farming G Street Farm. And we're here today with Chef Adrienne Rogers. She's going to be making an amazing, healthy, simple, delicious recipe using all farm fresh ingredients that you can find locally at your farmer's markets or at Hillcrest Artisan Meats. Um, so Adrienne, what are we making tonight? Today we are making Swiss chard dolmas. We're going to be using goat cheese, wild rice, lemon, a local made salami, some dried cherries, and a little paprika. Awesome, let's get started. All right, well first things first, we're gonna get our waters boiling for our blanching and for our wild rice. We're gonna go ahead and get our lemon zest going, and really you just wanna get the top layer of lemon. You don't wanna go any further than the white because it really gets bitter and loses flavor. All right, now that we've gotten our lemon zest off of the lemon, we're just gonna cut it in half and get some lemon juice out of this for plumping the cherry. We want just about two tablespoons, just enough to re-infuse the cherry. We're going to plump the cherries in a small saucepan, about one fourth of a cup of cherries, dry cherries, two tablespoons of lemon juice, our tablespoon of lemon zest, our cherries and our lemon juice and lemon zest, about two tablespoons of lemon juice and one teaspoon, or excuse me, tablespoon of lemon zest. We're going to add some honey to it. Okay. We're going to add just about four tablespoons of water into here, just enough so the honey doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Okay. This is our hard salami that we're going to be dicing up. I found this at Ham Hillcrest Artisan Meats. And this is a hard salami, so it does have a paper casing on it, which you want to make sure to take off. So I just cut my ends off, and I'm just going to slide my knife down just to open up the casing. Now I want to make sure to do our safety cuts. Because it's round, it can roll around, and I have a sharp object in my hand, I want to make sure to do my safety cuts. So, find the most equal point, and make one cut on one side. So it can lay flat. Julian the, the sausage after into bite-sized pieces. When I say Julian, I mean slicing in equal pieces. And then we'll just chop it into bite-sized pieces so it doesn't stick out too much in the mix when we fold it all together. Cherries have plumped. They really absorb as much flavor as they're going to. So we can cut the fire and strain off the excess liquid. We don't want to have them too runny so that it doesn't water down the mix. And these will be ready to go for later. Alright, so right now we're just going to get our garnish ready. And unfortunately, locally, there's no dill right now. So we are going to use a little improvisation. And we're going to use the Little Rock Urban Farms uh, fennel. You really don't want to use the stem, it's kind of bitter. So we're just going to pick the ends off, and you just want enough to garnish. And so I'll chop. Alright, so our rice has been boiling for about 45 minutes, and I've turned it off so it will steam. Really right now I'm just going to check the rice so there's not too much water rolling around in there. The way that you know that it's done is that there's steam holes in the top of it. Right now it's still steaming. Just going to close that back up. We want to keep everything contained inside. Alright, so now we're just going to get our goat cheese ready. I just wanted to use about half a cup. And really, you don't have to crumble it up by yourself too much because when you put it in the mix, the warm rice and everything's going to blend together. This is just to make it more cohesive. And goat cheese is kind of sour, kind of sweet. It's really good and creamy. And it just ties everything together. So if you have a half a cup, so we want to get our ice bath ready. We definitely want to have this ready before we start blanching. Alright, so right now we're just going to be blanching our chard. You want your water to be at a rolling boil. It only takes about 30 seconds for this because it's a very delicate leaf. Just toss it in there. We want to have our ice bath right here ready to go so we can shock it back to temperature. Do it. It brightens it and tenderizes it at the same time. Okay, now that our chard has been dried off and now drizzled with olive oil, we're going to take these and we're just going to cut off the excess stem. 
It doesn't really fold very well with the doll. Okay. Now that we've gotten the stems cut off, we're ready to fill. So we're going to get our filling all mixed up. We have our goat cheese. Go ahead and toss the goat cheese in there. Our mild salami that we found at ham. Our plumped cherries with lemon zest and lemon juice and a little bit of locally found honey. Our fennel. And I do thoroughly believe in salting and seasoning just about everything. So and we're ready to toss it together. And as soon as we get this all mixed together, we're going to start filling. And I really like to use just about a full tablespoon for these kind of leaves. They're medium size, so you don't want to overload it so it's just falling out the sides. So just a full tablespoon going into these leaves. You don't want to do too much. Of these, we're just going to fold it on each side, almost like an envelope. And a little bit of paprika. And there you have it. You have Swiss chard dolma. start by just laughing, just ridiculously. It's for, it can be forced or whatever. And then ideally it warps into actual laughter. My friend's out. <laughs> 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 <laughs>